All right, so if you have a tag-along trailer or a motorhome like this with the extension, extending room, um, the best way to support the room like this is to get a couple of bars on the internet. And this is what they look like. And yeah, this is how they work. Um, basically, you can put the extending bars underneath the um, room that comes out. And there's like a little jack. Basically, you pull up the jack and put it underneath the um, support and when you have it to the position you want you twirl the slatch around and it puts tension on it and you don't want to raise the room up but you just want to put enough in there so that's tension so it supports it the room's not bouncy and um, I ended up buying these off of eBay and they were about 40 bucks a pair you usually need two of them one for each end and uh, they work very well. Just remember, if you're leaving for the weekend or you're closing your camper up for the season, to um, take them down before you close the room, because <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Uh, one other thing you can do, too, is I had to dig down for some clearance. Um, you can get longer and shorter um, support beams, but you can get some patio bricks and put them on the base. The base is round, and uh, that'll help to keep them from sinking into the dirt, and they'll give them something for them to stand on. So I just wanted to show you how these work and uh, what they do, and um, it's a, they're a pretty good product. So they're really easy to install. It took me all of about three minutes to put these in, and uh, it really stabilized this room pretty good. Hope you liked the video, and give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel.